In this video, I want to show you how to collect and organize your notes and ideas inside Workflowy. So what I have right here is a very basic layout. I've got just work, personal, and hobbies. Inside of each one, I've got some items that I think make sense for those different sections. So one thing I recommend you do is you start grouping things into categories, big categories, just like I have right here with these three. And then you start building uh, your way down or nesting items, depending on what you want to do inside of Workflowy, whether you want to use this for work, for school, for your personal life, or some combination of these. So first, I'm going to go into the personal section and show you one of the things you can do, um, especially if you want to collect and organize ideas inside of Workflowy. Keeping a journal is a pretty great way to do that. So if I just expand this for just a second, you'll see we've got some bullets here that have dates, and you'll notice that they're a little special because they have a line under them. Now these are uh, date tags. So the way we do that is we simply start typing a date or adding um, a date with natural language. So for example, something like today, you'll notice that I just started typing and I got this little widget that helps me kind of set the date without having to type it out myself. So one of the nice things about doing that is that you can then search through all your dates. So for example, once I've got these date tags here, I can just click on search and do a search for something like last week or July 15th, something like that. So keeping a running journal inside of Workflow is a really nice way to keep track of everything that you were thinking about, any ideas, uh, who you talked to, uh, any kind of note that you want to take basically, but by putting them under a date tag that you can go back and figure out exactly what you're working on for that day. Next, I've got some tags here and I've got some links. Uh, you'll notice that this is in a slightly darker text. The, the reason for that is because this is a note. So notes are a nice way to add a bit of context inside of Workflow. So maybe you'll be taking some notes and you'll create a bullet and then you'll start nesting things under that just like this. Um, but then you'll want to add some context because you might want to collapse it uh, to make it nice and compact and one single line is just not going to cut it. So one thing you can do is add a note. And the way you do that is by going to the bullet menu for the item and then clicking on add note. So then you can add a note like that. And you can add links, you can add hashtags, um, anything that you want inside the note. You can actually add other lines so you can keep going further down if you prefer to uh, add a lot of context. So once you have a journal or a today list or a to-do list, you then want to add some tags in here that makes it much easier to then filter through all the different items you have inside of your workflow document. It's a really good way to then connect different ideas. Uh, you create tags maybe based on categories or the type of activity uh, or some sort of an abstract idea, uh, you know, and you add them in a, in a journal like this. So once you've built up uh, a bit of information inside of your workflow, then you can just simply click on the tag and you can explore all those ideas and then you can use these to brainstorm. Um, connect different ideas from different days and so on. So that's another good way to use tags. They're not just for kind of, you know, putting them there and, and then forgetting about them. They're actually pretty useful once you start uh, coming up with some interesting or useful categories. So next, I want to show you a different way to kind of organize information inside of Workflow. Let's jump over to the hobbies section. I'll jump into the resources here. You'll notice this is very different. This is no longer a list. This is a Kanban style board. We call these our fractal boards. And the reason is that we can combine the boards with lists in any way we want. So we've got columns here and we've got cards inside of them. But we can also add lists inside of the cards. So for example, I've got a link here, a guide to field linguistics, but if I just hit enter and then tab, I'm going to start adding a list inside this card. So I can do something like this. And then I hit enter. I'm creating another item under that sub item. Uh, if I just hit tap again, again, I'm nesting this. So these work the same way that lists work in other parts of workflow. You can just hit enter and then hit tab to nest items and you can nest items infinitely down. So you can combine cards uh, and the board with lists in any way that you want. One example of that, if I scroll over to the right here under botany, I've got a card that is actually another board. So I'm just going to zoom in on this for a second. And you can see I've got an entire board nested within that card. I've got images inside the cards. I've got some documents, um, all kinds of things. So this is another way that you can organize your information inside of Workflowy. If you want to take notes, uh, create a personal wiki, uh, create a, a CRM, anything like that, you could do this by combining lists with boards. And if you ever want to see what the information looks like as a list, you can just go into the menu bar to the top right hand side and click on this little icon right here and then swap from a board to a bullet list or back if you prefer to keep it as a board. Now let's zoom out for just a moment. I'm going to go home by clicking on the icon in the menu bar. 
I'll open up work and I'm gonna zoom into the inbox. So right here, now right now there's nothing in here, but uh, you can imagine that this could be an inbox for, uh, I would add notes, uh, incoming tasks, ideas, all kinds of things, uh, basically as my day progresses. So I, I could do something like, uh, I'm just gonna add a couple of examples here. So it's not completely empty. Let's say that this is an idea. I've got a task here and I've got uh, something I need to do. Let's say I've got a meeting uh, today at 5 p.m., something like that. Okay, so this could be like my main list that I work from throughout the day. So this works kind of like your email inbox. Everything kind of starts here and then finds its way into a different folder. To make it easy to get back to this section, one thing you can do is star this by uh, zooming into it like we are right now clicking on the little star icon in the menu bar. And now it's available in the left-hand sidebar right here under the section called starred. So one really nice thing about that is if we uh, find ourselves in a different section inside of our workflow document, like right here, we're working on this section. And then we want to check something in the inbox. We could just click on inbox right here in the left-hand sidebar and see all the items that we have in there. So as I mentioned, this is kind of like the starting point for all your notes, ideas. This is kind of just a quick capture area uh, for collecting pieces of information, but then you want to organize them so they don't just stay here forever. Another thing we can do once we have the sidebar open is that we can move items from the inbox uh, into a different section. So for example, let's say I'm going to open up work for just a moment. Um, and let's say that I want to move this thing one to an idea section. I don't have one, so I can create that very quickly from the left-hand sidebar as well. So I go to the main level, which is right here, work. And you'll see that as I hover, I get a little plus symbol. Click on that's going to create a new untitled item. I'm just going to create ideas. I'm going to jump back to inbox. And now I have a section to drag and drop items into my ideas section. So I can click on that and see that I've moved that. And so this is a nice way to kind of capture ideas inside of an inbox, open up left sidebar, and then start organizing things and dropping them into where they should go. So one final thing that I want to leave you with is how to use mirrors uh, to kind of organize your information inside of Workflow. So what we'll do here is I'm going to just collapse these items. I'm going to open up the personal section, go into the journal, and let's say that we've got uh, a very important thing. This could become a project. Uh, so it's in my journal. I want to keep it here, but I also want to work on it from a different section called projects. So one way that I could do that is just copy it and paste it there. Um, the problem with that is that I'm going to lose all the context uh, if I've got uh, new notes, you know, once I move it and start building on it. This item right here, even though it references maybe the same idea, um, it's not going to have all those new notes that I add. So one way to, to do that is to use mirrors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to mirror this item right here, which is in my journal. Click on mirror. Okay, so now what I can do is I'm going to go into the work section, collapse this, and I've got a projects bullet right here. I've got current, pause, and archive projects. I'll just create a new bullet and paste that here. So you'll notice that this has a little diamond shape instead of a circle that lets us know that this is a mirror. Um, so anything that we add to this or anything change that we make to this bullet is going to be updated everywhere else that we have this same mirror. So let's say if I now add an important detail and I'll go ahead and duplicate this a couple of times. Um, what will happen now is that the other place where this mirror exists is going to be updated with these same details. So let's say I like to keep this section open and I like to work from my current projects. Um, and, but if I ever want to uh, see all the information that I have inside of my journal and, and if I check this item within my journal, it's also going to have these changes that I've made. And I can show that to you by checking to see where all the mirrors are for this item. So as you can see, we've got one right here in the journal for Wednesday, July 14th. But we also have the one that we just created, which is under projects under current. So if I, I can use these also to navigate, jump back. Uh, you see this one also has a little diamond now to show that it's a mirror. I can expand it and see that all those changes that I made have also been made to this one here. So mirrors are a really nice feature that you can use to capture information in one part of your workflow document. Um, and then consolidate it, reorganize it, um, build upon it in a different section inside of your document. So I hope this video is giving you some ideas about how you can start to capture information inside of Workflow and making that easy by starting that section, uh, tagging items, sorting them into different categories, and then using mirrors and tags to group items, view them in different ways, and build upon them.